Hi, my name is Anthony Shivkumar and welcome to our YouTube channel Anshiv Robotics, making autonomous robots. Our mission is to make autonomous robots that are useful to society while being aware of our biodiversity. Uh, what that really means is when we're designing, say, aerial drones or marine drones, uh, we want to make sure that our robots are not designed to just help humanity, but it's also aware of the biodiversity around uh, our surroundings in terms of you don't want the drone to be crashing into a tree where there's birds, you know, which has its nest or having marine robots or drones that are, you know, swimming or that are floating on sea, but is disturbing some natural habitats. Uh, we want to make sure that we're designing drones that are aware of and being respectful of our biodiversity. Having said that, what this channel is really all about. Our main goal is to make it educational. Because we're creating these sophisticated drones and robots, uh, we want to showcase our step-to-step -step process in designing these drones. And the first goal is to make sure it's educational so that uh, our audience and users, uh, you can benefit from the way we do certain things. So in a nutshell, we really want this YouTube channel to show our progress the way we design our systems, uh, the processes that we that we feel are important to the way to our ways of working, and eventually showcase our products uh, and services. But the main purpose is to make sure it's very educational. The topics that would be covered in this channel, because making robotic systems is so multidisciplinary, there are a lot of different. Uh, subjects that might be involved. Things like electrical and elect electronics, electrical in terms of the power distribution, electronics in terms of sensors and writing and designing the printed circuit board to just make the circuitry work. We're dealing with microcontrollers or microprocessors and how do you fabricate those systems uh, and components. We'll be dealing with the mechanical, the structural and the aerodynamics. Mechanicals in terms of how, uh, your, how the design of the system is, whether it's going to be um, aerodynamically built in terms of whether you want to minimize drag, you want to maximize stability. In terms of structural, how strong is it? Will it just you know crash into a wall or would it be able to withstand certain forces and, and stress? We'll also be talking about the software side of things, the operating system development and device drivers. For example, if you want to connect a camera to the microprocessor, we probably would be writing some of those drivers or taking uh, ideas from uh, the manufacturer, but we'll be developing a lot of this in-house, uh, primarily because we want to have full control over our system so that if in, the, in the future when we need to customize or make iterations, it'll be much easier rather than relying on third-party solutions. And making robots is generally very mathematically intense, so we'll try to sprinkle mathematics when needed but for the most part, uh, and the mathematics would involve things like control system design, uh, artificial intelligence, which is rooted in mathematics, uh, data analytics and data and collecting data and making sense of that data, uh, which is very synonymous with you know AI and even in control systems when we apply principles like system identification, which is really just collecting data and making sense of uh, what's really happening and then plotting graphs of how the system is behaving. So you really s start to see that this channel is about looking at a product and saying what are the different facets or uh, discipline that is needed in order to make it. And we have distilled it down into the electrical, the mechanical, the software, and the math. And the math is the central uh, piece that governs um, everything to make the robot work. How will you really benefit? Uh, since we're designing these systems that are genuinely pretty sophisticated, we will be taking the approach of vertical integration, which is in the sense means building from the grounds up. And when we build things from the grounds up, you have a deeper understanding of the subject. And there is gonna be a fine line between whether we wanna choose off-the-shelf products for doing certain things, or do we wanna build things from the grounds up? And we believe that if it, if it does not require too much customization and we're happy with using off-the-shelf products, then most likely we may use off-the-shelf products. But for the most part, 
there would be a lot of customization involved and not understanding how the part is built, whether it's the software or the hardware, can be a bottleneck in the future. So in order to limit that, we will be building a lot of things from the grounds up. Things that we may not be building, at least not in the near future, is like building the microprocessor or the microcontroller. We're probably going to buy the off-the-shelf product or use an FPGA. We're not going to write our own Linux kernel or an, a real-time operating system. We believe there's n it's highly unlikely we're going to develop an operating system that is better than what's existing, and especially when it comes to context switching and memory allotment and allocation. Most likely, what's off, what's already out there is already doing a great job, and it's customized to the processors. So we won't be developing these things in-house. We'll be using off-the-shelf products, uh, in, in especially when it comes to a very core central pieces that makes the processor work more efficiently or just selecting the processor itself. But anything on top of it is most likely going to be built in-house in terms of, you know, the cameras, the PCB design, the fabrication, um, the component selection, and how we believe would fit in the overall design to make our product useful. And when we're designing things from the grounds up, it's important that we rapidly prototype because we'll be breaking the products into very small pieces and byproducts, and some of these byproducts will be needed in order for us to understand the system at a minor level or a, at a at an isol isolating some of these components so that we can understand some of these principles better. And it could be in the mechanical side of things, the electronics or the electrical side of things, or even in the software. And this will help us to make sure that we're designing the product in, and in the design that we choose. And we want to make sure that there's a lot of the speed involved in it. So the speed of implementation is very important when we're doing vertical integration. Because it's much easier, it's much faster to just buy off the shelf product, but in order to compensate for the slow need or the slow or the time that it might take to develop something from the grounds up, we want to compensate that with rapidly prototyping so that we can match the speed of just buying off the shelf product. And this is very critical, and that's the approach that we're going with. We're going to have manufacturing and assemblies in the sense that we're going to build a product by keeping manufacturing and assembly in mind. We're not trying to build for one person or one or for one use case. How will we build a product when there's thousands of use cases and thousands that we need to manufacture for 1,000 um, customers or for 100,000? So the design approach of making one prototype versus making for scale uh, is very different and and you'll benefit from the way we plan to uh, make these products from day one in thinking of manufacturing, keeping manufacturing in mind. Some of the byproducts that we'll be making, we'll probably open source them, we'll, we'll share our files, the software, uh, the downloadable material because at the end of the day, this channel is about making it a learning resources for our audience and literally making helping you build your own drones or robots uh, in the future. And if we share some of our content, uh, we firmly believe uh, that you should have, you should get a lot of value from uh, what we're presenting. At least that, the pre that, that is the premise. And having said that, we highly recommend you to subscribe to our channel and I can't wait to show you how we're gonna build our autonomous drones. Thank you.